Photographic Composition, Lecture 11, Travel, Part 2. In many instances, the geographical place itself is the attraction. Finding ways to present the natural terrain at its most attractive requires being able to identify what makes the place special and then finding the best place and time from which to shoot it. For some, the pursuit of animals with the intention of bringing home images of them in their natural habitat is what drives them to travel. Photographers who have specialized in such work are often hired to lead groups into the wild in search of such animals, offering instruction and technical tips to improve their photographic skills. Occasionally, the people photographed in exotic locales are not natives, such as the case when celebrities descend on the wild with the express intention of being photographed there, in this case, musician Bono and his wife, by Annie Leibovitz, for Louis Vuitton luggage. Much more likely, in many parts of the world, the indigenous people are as distinctive as the lands they occupy. Photographing these people has grown controversial as there are those who see the practice as exploitative. At the same time, such people often understand the value of their appearance to others and require payment in exchange for granting a few moments for picture taking. The images in this series have been made by well-established, well world-renowned photographers who have been on assignment for the likes of National Geographic, Condé Nast Traveler, and Travel and Leisure, as well as emerging and even uh, amateur photographers. Photographing people at rest, as in portraiture, is one thing, but capturing them doing what they do to sustain themselves or at play is quite another. Very often following people pursuing their livelihood or sports or public rituals will not only reveal aspects of the local culture, but also the environment. When covering an event, the photographer's location is everything. In the case of the Tour de France, finding a spot where you know the cyclists will be passing in the foreground, but also features a clear view of the Arc de Triomphe, would seem to be ideal. Being ready for the yellow jersey to show up will be the difference between just another wide-angle image of cyclists in Paris and one that will be reproduced globally, online, and in print. Then again, choosing to shoot from a distance with a serious telephoto lens may yield um, the keeper. Location is also the key to covering other kinds of activities, along with being alert to how people and objects arrange, them, arrange themselves in the landscape. As with the Tour de France, this means anticipating where the action is most likely to reveal itself, and then choosing the ideal focal length lens, aperture, shutter speed, and ISO so that you're ready when the ideal moment comes. <laughs> 